All right, here's the second passage. Part two, Traveling in the Future by Tony Ward. Gary Golden is a futurist who specifically focuses on transportation. Futurists are scientists who analyze the way the world is today and use that information to make predictions about what the world will be like in the future. In this way, they are the opposite of historians. Futurists hope that by making scientific predictions about the future, we can make better decisions today. Golden lived in Houston, Texas for many years. Many public transportation advocates dislike the city of Houston. They argue the city is too sprawling. It can take more than three hours to drive from one side of the city to the other during rush hour. And that there aren't enough buses and subways. However, Houston was a source of inspiration for Golden. Golden believes American cities will become more similar to New York City in several ways over the next 20 years. He sees a trend toward fewer cars in the future. He explains, all these vehicles cost the city in services and having to repair roads and all of the other things. Cars also take up a lot of space. Houston, for example, has 30 parking spaces for every resident. That's 64.8 million parking spaces in only one city. Golden points out that having so many parking spaces is inefficient. Much of the time, the parking spaces sit empty. At high use times, for example, Saturday afternoon when everyone is running errands, every parking space at a shopping center is full. But at 3 a.m. on a Monday, no one is at the shopping center. What is the solution? He explains that cities will make new laws to limit the number of cars people have can have within city limits. Instead, people will use taxis, subways, and buses. New technology like smartphones can make these forms of public transportation even better. How soon would these changes come? Golden admits that it will take several years. Cities can be slow to change. Also, new systems of transportation can be expensive. But it's coming, he says. The trend of the empowered city will be here soon. All right. Again, I'm going to read the question. Pause, answer, press play to move on. Number one, part A. From this passage, the reader can infer that Houston was a source of inspiration for Golden because... He grew up in Houston and cherishes many childhood memories. He admired the detailed subway system in Houston. He noticed the transportation problems while living in Houston and wanted to discover solutions. He wants every city to operate like Houston does. Number two, part B. Which piece of evidence below supports your answer to part A? Which piece of evidence supports your answer up here? Houston, for example, has 30 parking spaces for every resident. That's 64 million parking spaces in only one city. Paragraph 3. Many public transportation advocates dislike the city of Houston. Paragraph 2. They argue the city is too sprawling and that there aren't enough buses and subways. Paragraph 2. Or all of the above. 3. What is the meaning of the word sprawling as it is used in paragraph 2? Thrashing around in anger or frustration? Spread out over a large area in an unorganized way? A period of growing after spring showers? Filled with trash and debris? Number four. Gary Golden is described as a futurist. What would you infer is his opinion of change? He believes change is necessary for growth and innovation. He believes change can destroy tradition, which is the most important part of a city's culture. He believes that only the top leaders in the world can truly make change happen within society. He believes change could be good, but we as humans have no control over it. Number five, which piece of evidence below best conveys the meaning of the word inefficient as it is used in the following quote? Golden points out that having so many parking spaces is inefficient. At high times, for example, Saturday afternoon when everyone is running errands, every parking space is full. But at 3 a.m. on a Monday, no one is at the shopping center. City, paragraph 5. Cities can be slow to change. Paragraph 5. Golden lived in Houston, Texas for many years. Paragraph 2. Golden believes American cities will become more similar to New York City in several ways over the next 20 years. Paragraph 3. The last question. What is the phrase, the trend of the empowered city will be here soon, suggest about Gary Golden's opinion of transportation? 
Golden doesn't think that the current transportation methods will ever change. Golden thinks that driving cars is better than riding on subways. Golden believes future changes to transportation will improve cities. Golden assumes that cities will choose not to use buses and subways. So, once you've done this question, you are done with the summative multiple choice. You can press submit. You have one short answer question on a doc in Google Classroom. Move on to answering that.